terrorism kills. And Barbara Boxer's worried about the weather. What does Rand Paul stand for? Who did Kentucky Republicans just nominate to be their Republican nominee for Senate this November? These days, watching political ads on television is almost as frightening as watching a horror movie, and it's by design. In uncertain times like this, politicians figure the best way to lure voters to the polls is by scaring the heck out of them. So in this week's Decoder, we decided to take a look at the history of fear ads and examine why they're so effective. Stakes. There you have the mother of all fear ads when Lyndon Johnson tried to equate electing Barry Goldwater with nuclear Armageddon. That ad was effective because it played into concerns people already had that the hawkish Goldwater was actually unstable. A far more subtle and yet still ominous example of this genre came from Ronald Reagan's camp in one of history's strangest political ads. There is a bear in the woods for some people. The bear is easy to see. Others don't see it at all. Some people say the bear is tame. Others say it's vicious and dangerous. Since no one can really be sure who's right, isn't it smart to be as strong as the bear? If there is a bear. Of course, national security is not the only thing politicians scare us about. Crime's always a winner, as in this attack on Michael Dukakis. Despite a life sentence, Horton received 10 weekend passes from prison. Horton fled, kidnapped a young couple, stabbing the man and repeatedly raping his girlfriend. Weekend prison passes, Dukakis on crime. In this election cycle, fear is all over the place and no better microcosm for it than the Nevada Senate race. On the Democratic side, Harry Reid echoes his party's overall argument that Tea Partiers are too crazy to be trusted. Teacher layoffs, no Department of Education. She's just too extreme. For her part, Republican Sharon Angle echoes the overall Tea Party argument that un-American Democrats are destroying the fabric of the nation. Illegals sneaking across our border, putting Americans' safety and jobs at risk. And what does Harry Reid do? He comes out opposed to Arizona's tough new immigration law. So why do all these fear tactics work? For one thing, candidates find them useful for distracting voters from things they don't want to talk about. And it turns out it's in our nature. Scientists tell us that our brains are more hardwired for fear than reason, which perhaps explains why there's so little reason in our politics.